It started a week ago. The media and government played it down at first. Soon even they had to admit there was a fucking pandemic going on in our cities. People eating people. I don't know how it started. Scientists and government officials had their theories, but no one knew. People eating people.
Musí být příště. Zombi musí být příště. Zombi musí být Žádný nesmůže žít, rozumíte? Honestly. So what's your name? Helen. You? Richard. Is this your home? No, look, like you, I found this place. I found a dead woman upstairs when I first arrived. I assume she lived there. Where are you from? London. 
I was on the train coming home, but due to an incident, we had to stop. Things got out of hand at the station. We all were panicking. And everywhere I turned, someone was either bleeding or dead. It all seems so unreal. Of course it was. I haven't been able to phone home. I hope they're okay. No, me neither. I was on my way home. My wife was in Cruz worried and wanted me to come home. I've been working away. And you haven't spoken to her since? so quickly. I'm sure she's fine. Her brother, he doesn't live too far from us. She's probably with him. I'm sure they're safe. What about you? My mum was probably worried stupid right now. I just wish I had a mum. How do you manage being here on your own? It's a case of having to. Where are you going? I wonder why they come here. They just knock and leave, but why? It's not because of us. If it were, they'd be in it by now. I must know this place somehow. I know a memory, perhaps. <laughs> Shit. Even the dead get nostalgic. something soon. Their radio station's up and running with updates. Yeah. 
Thanks. Did you get my sleep? A couple of hours. It's better than none at all. The fridge and the cupboards are almost empty. Yeah, I'm gonna head into town and see what I can find. I'll come with you. No, I prefer if you stayed here. I can't let anyone find this place abandoned and take it as their own. Maybe we should think about getting out of here. It's not a good idea. We'd be stranded out there. We could find a car. Fuck, we could steal a car if need be. Find a safer place for more people? Helen. Or maybe make it home. Helen, leaving here not knowing where we're going is a huge risk. So we're staying here. How do you know there won't be more of them tonight smashing down the doors and windows? I don't think we will. You don't know that? We just need to hold out a little longer. Longer? For what? For help. A cure. A military strike. What? Have you lost it? There's not been anything on the radio for a while. It's not over yet. No! You don't understand, do you? Everything has been devastated by this. No one's going to save us. No cure, no military strike. The most we can wish for is that our families are safe and that we see them again. Helen, we... Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm just hoping that there's nothing wrong with that, is there? No, but what I hope you understand is I just hope I just hope that I can see my mother and sister again. More than anything, I hope for that. Don't you want that too? But out there at night. Who knows what could happen if we get stranded? That's a chance I'm willing to take. If it means seeing my family again, I'm willing to do that. You're serious about this? I am. We're going to town. We grab any car we can find, we get some food and we go. Where? Home. And what if home isn't there? Could you handle that? Okay, so we'll have to. The uncertainty followed us all the way. We hid at night and salvaged in a day. But Helen was right. We needed to know if our loved ones were safe, whatever the cost.